Hello and welcome again. In this part, we will discuss the uh, computer assisting auditing tools and continuous auditing. So we need to understand that as you are an information system auditor, you are eligible to use some data analytics tool. Data analytics, analytics tool can help IS auditor to identify exceptions or unusual business rules. It also can assist in identification of fraud and identification of areas with poor data quality, as well as performing re performance of risk assessment at the planning of an audit. So data analytics tool can vary from wide range of tools starting from the Excel and we can go to another commercial and another more advanced tools. So whenever you are has the ability or whenever you have the ability to use data analytics tool, you should use it to assist you in the audit mission. Computer assisting auditing tools is a wide term that describing what are the data analytics tool. Computer assisting auditing tools help IS auditor to collect sufficient relevant and useful evidence that may only exist in electronic form. For information sources by using CAT, it is considered more reliable. So data exported from system or exported using audit software or audit computer assisted audit tools is considered more reliable. CATs include many tools and techniques, for instance, the Generalized Audit Software or GAS. Software such as Generalized Audit Software is a kind of software that can directly read and analyze data from various databases platform. We also have uh, the term of utility and the scanning software. It is also one of the kinds of the com computer assisted audited tools. And one of the kinds of form of the scanning tool or scanning utility is the vulnerability scanning. So as an auditor, you are testing uh, the security of a certain system, you may use a vulnerability scanning tool, and this tool can help you to identify if the batch management process is well, de is well developed uh, or not, or as, uh, aligning with the requirement stated in the batch management policy. Debugging tools are the tools that help you to identify software and hardware errors, uh, test the memory, test the stress of the system, and so on. And, and the test data can be used with any of above tools to test application logic. Expert system is uh, used for data analytics, and it is kind of decision support system or system specialized in a very specific uh, mission or very specific objective. But of course, all of the tools that we just discussed can be used, but with considerations. You need to consider the, the reliability and the integrity of the software. This software will be used to access production or test data. So you need to, you need to ensure that this software is reliable and integrity is preserved while using this data or using this software for, to uh, process data. Confidentiality of the data is one of the concerns. So you need to use uh, an approved and uh, reliable software to do this task to ensure this software will preserve the confidentiality of data being processed. Of course, if you need to install any of these softwares or, or any of these software or even use it, you need to obtain the proper permission. Uh, only read only access should be granted in case you need to use CAD. So uh, especially if you are dealing with production data, read-only access should be granted to ensure that this uh, software will not change or alter any of the data. If editing or modification needed, this can be done on a duplicate data. So you need to duplicate the data and then do your actions on it in case you need to do data analytics or modification for any requirement. Also, CAT need to be have the qualified person to use it. So training requirement is one of the aspects that audit management need to care about when considering CAT. And of course, complexity of maintenance and cost requirement and installation requirement. Do I need a kind of prerequisites before installing these computer assisting auditing, auditing tools or not? So uh, this was about the continuous audit, uh, cont computer assisting auditing tools, and I hope it is clear up to now. 
The second part in this uh, uh, video is the continuous auditing concept. And continuous auditing is that audit it will be conducted forever in real or near real time. So instead of waiting from year to year or from quarter to quarter to have an audit, we have the audit uh, continuously conducting on our systems. That's why we say that continuous auditing is near real time or real time auditing for the system. The result of continuous auditing would be, of course, better monitoring of financial issues uh, as the real time transactions will benefit from real time monitoring. And you need here to understand that continuous monitoring is somehow relevant to continuous uh, auditing. However, uh, the party responsible for continuous auditing will be the auditor and the continuous monitor monitoring will be the NOC team or someone who's, who is responsible for monitoring the system. So these two functions should be independent from each other and should not be overlapped. The process of continuous auditing should be considered in building the system because continuous auditing will rely on module and codes that is integrated from the beginning inside the application. So this need to be considered from the early stage of developing a certain application. When you have continuous monitoring and continuous auditing in place, you will reach the continuous assurance and continuous assurance is a result of both continuous auditing and continuous monitoring in place. So factors that could contribute in successful continuous auditing is automation is important part here and alarm we need to have a continuous auditing tool that is able to trigger alarm whenever irregularity or uh, any exception or any uh, defined exception happens. Uh, also, uh, ability of uh, uh, the IS auditor to engage with the software and modify the parameters to eliminate or to uh, uh, neutralize any false positive and accept only the true alarm. Uh, how quickly uh, the uh, continuous auditing tool can report with the identified anomaly or the error and uh, audit reports, how quick time of issuance of it. Also technical proficiency of IS auditor is very important and availability of reliable sources of evidence that can be exported from these systems and of course adherence to material materiality guidelines like auditing what really need to be audited. So we have a lot or we have a lot of techniques like five techniques for continuous audit auditing. The first technique is what is called integrated test facility or ITF and integrated test facility is simply a dummy code or a dummy entity or a dummy module inside the production environment in a specific application and an auditor can make this entity either process live or test transactions. So we can either order this entity to process live uh, data, production data, or live test data. And one, what we do with this integrated test facility is we provide the data as an input and we also, we would uh, in advance knew what would be the result of processing and we process it, this data on the system or in the integrated test facility and see uh, the output and compare the output to verify the correct correctiveness. The integrated test facility is a time basis testing, so it is not continuous, but auditor go from time to time and do the test. It should be manual uh, executed and it could interrupt the normal processing. The integrated test facility is complex to coding because it is complex to implement because it is considered or needed to be considered during the application development phase. The SCARF embedded audit module or the system control audit review file is another way for uh, the continuous auditing. The key differentiation between the SCARF EAM and the ITF is the SCARF EAM is ongoing assessment or ongoing monitoring. 
We use this method if we don't, don't want to interrupt, to interrupt regular processing of a certain system. And uh, the SCARF aim is, does not wait for an auditor to go and execute a dummy test. It is monitoring the actual production test and record the deviations and notify the auditor. And it is very complex to implement with this is one or this is the most complex one from uh, the continuous auditing various techniques in terms of coding requirements. So uh, back again, I had to take a quick break. Uh, so uh, in continuous auditing IT techniques, we discussed the ITF or integrated test facility. And we understood that integrated test facility is manual testing. It, it processes dummy transactions. It is integrated in production environment. And in a SCARF EAM or uh, the system control audit review file, we track on ongoing basis. We does not interrupt regular processing. And both of these ways are complex, but the most complex way is the SCARF EAM. And when we say it is complex, it will be complex from the perspective of coding and also the perspective of operation. We also have uh, another two uh, or another three uh, ways of continuous auditing. The snapshot snapshot is simply used when audit trails is required and the snapshot as the name imply is capturing. It captures a transaction screenshot or capture snapshot for a certain data in different stages of processing before and after to understand that what was the difference and record this difference. Auditor should be concerned about location of the snapshot, time of the snapshot, and how to report the difference in the snapshot. So it is a medium complex solution in terms of coding and in terms of configuration as well. But auditor need to be concerned about the three parts that I just discussed. We also have the CIS and CIS is the continuous and the intermittent simulation. Continuous and the intermittent simulation is assembly at each transaction is entered when every trans when every tra transaction is entered the simulator decide whether the transactions need to be audited or not it is a medium complexity in terms of implementation so this is the five stages or the five types of the audit uh, or, or the four types till now last but not least we have the audit hooks and audit hooks is embedded uh, in application uh, uh, are embedded in application and it is capturing exceptions based on criteria set by an um, uh, IS auditor and it is very helpful for earlier identification of irregularities. Should uh, target scope uh, of a specific transactions, so simply when we uh, discuss the audit hooks, it came in mind the software of uh, anti-money laundering or uh, the ALM software that is uh, incorporated in many financial applications to identify or detect the money laundry or suspicious transactions. It is uh, similar to what audit hook uh, is, or in other words, it is what audit hook is really is. Uh, audit hook is simply targeting a uh, scope of transactions. So in this case will be the uh, transfer or fund transfer, and it uh, will trigger uh, an alert based on criteria. And this is what happens in, in the anti-money laundering software. It is uh, considered a low complex in terms of implementation. Here we have like a review or a comparison between all of the continuous auditing tools that we just discussed. When we uh, ask it about audit trail, in this case, snapshot will be the answer. When uh, it mentions that regular processing cannot be interrupted, it will be the scarf. And when we discuss that only transactions or processes need to be uh, examined, in this case will be audit hooks. And when uh, discuss that transactions meeting certain criteria need to be examined, this will be CIS. CIS, as we remember, was about simulating if this transaction is needed to be audited or not, if it passed the simulation. In relation to integrated test facility, it is very important that in integrated test facility, test data does not be beneficial to use because test data generally does not satisfy all use cases. So it is better to use production data in integrated test facility to ensure that it will provide relevant information about the nature of production environment, but you need to pay attention that when using production data for testing, production data need to be scrambled 
need to be masked, need to be, uh, need to remove all sensitive information from it. Uh, integrated test facility, on the other hand, has a huge benefit, which which is it is it does not impact the production data because it is a separate entity or a factuous entity inside the application. So that was all about continuous uh, auditing and continuous assurance and computer-assisted auditing tools. So see you in the next video.